Kelly. And we are XYZ RV. XYZ RV is traveling around the country bringing you information and things about different cities and different information about. <laughs> we're packing up our RV. Yeah. Taking the golden retriever and we are leaving our home in Sarasota, Florida and heading north. Correct, since I can't do computers and she quit her. Well, I, well, I retired, I didn't quit, so we could do this. All right, I thought you quit, but we're Oops, good. sorry. All right, okay. and um, we're gonna be making new videos that are a lot more fun than this one, showing you cities and things around that town, visit, around the country. And we'll give you suggestions on the RV parks that we stayed at and also the places we visited. And what's cool to do and what may not be cool to do. That way you don't have to go to all these cities and figure out which ones you like the most. We'll tell you what we like the most. So please follow us and hit the subscribe button to keep you updated on all our future videos. And you'll love it, we promise. Subscribe now. Thank you very much. Brand new full-time resident, he lives here. So he decided to build his own club. Justin Timberlake, that's JT's new club, yep. Now, most famous bar though on this street is that purple bar right there. Now, that was originally called Mom's Bar, owned by a lady named Hattie Louise. We love her. She would let you actually, if you were a songwriter like me, she would let you trade your royalty checks for beer. That's pretty cool. But one day she left that bar. She said, listen, I need you to paint this bar as cheap as you can to a friend of hers. Don't ever tell a contractor cheap as you can. He took all of this leftover paint. He mixed all that paint together and got that color. What is it? Purple. Is that a good honky tonk bar color? 1960, not so much. But she fell in love with it. They renamed the bar Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. Very famous. If you go inside there, Willie Nelson, you know who that is? He wrote crazy for Patsy Cline sitting at that bar. And in true Willie Nelson form, he sold the rights to that song for 50 bucks at that bar to cover his bar tab. Oh, Willie is not a good businessman. Just ask the IRS. Not good. <laughs> now, another famous bar is that place, Legends. Lots of big stars love to sing there. American Idol hosts their auditions inside there. Also, Kid Rock loves to play there. Now, somebody asked me the other night, why in the world would Kid Rock play there if he owns his own bar? Because Kid Rock's the only guy in Nashville who owns his own bar and has been kicked out of his bar three times. <laughs> Kid likes to drink. Okay, look on the side of it too. That mural is gorgeous. They keep updating it every so often. They'll trade out people. You can see Brad Paisley right there to the left of Dead Center. Now, that was kind of a controversy. There's a lot of stuff going on in our country. A lot of protests left and right. Big causes you got to protest for, right? Well, there was a big protest there a few months ago because they replaced Taylor Swift with Brad Paisley. All those young girls were not happy. So, you can check that out. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Now on your right, you're going to see the Ryman Auditorium, home to the Mother Church of Country Music. Directly across the street is the National Museum of African American Music, our brand new, I'll tell you about that in a second. But the Ryman, now that was originally built to be a church, that's why it looks like a church. Built 1892, but most famously it was the home of the Grand Opry for 40 years. Everybody played there, Hank Williams, Patsy Klein, Johnny Cash. In fact, Johnny met June Carter for the very first time backstage, 1956. Walked up to her backstage, said, you're the greatest thing I've ever seen. Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Ray Charles, everybody played in clubs down here. It was amazing. We, yeah, good job, Carrie. We even had, okay. We gave her that guy, 1962, moved down here, and then he got out of the paratroopers and said, oh, here from Kentucky. Came down here with a friend of his to start a band called the Keen Casuals. Yeah, look at that. Centennial Park, they built up Parthenon. See, you came to Nashville, you saw the Parthenon. We just saved you like $12,000 in one Greece. No point now, right? And they don't have lower Broadway, come on. Now, everything's music related here in town. Anybody heard of a band called the Foo Fighters? Yep. Yes. Okay, I did that tour earlier. Not one single person heard of the Foo Fighters. I was really sad. That's one of their album covers. A lot of band album covers have been shot there. Now, as we're going up this hill, we're going to stop at the top of the hill to give you a really good view of this. Here, Jolene, pay attention. It's going to be Dolly Parton because 
The only way they'll let you do a song in there, you have to have written it. So if you're in there, you're gonna hear some cool songs. We have a lot of friends that play there. Now who's ever heard of a guy named Don Schlitt? Nobody, right? But you've heard this. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fall, yeah. Pickles, and they dip them in ground up Captain Crunch cereal. It is, oh, don't give me that look. It's a delicious, right here. Great bar, okay, but more famous on this street, it's home two doors down to a place called Winter's Bar and Grill. And on Mondays, tomorrow night, and Thursday, they have a thing called the Whiskey Jam, very famous. Been going on now for over a decade. This is where they give three up and coming artists a chance to break out. They've had a, big, a lot of people here Casey Musgrave, Jason Isbell, Luke Combs, Luke Bryan, all got their big breaks right out of here. Now, if you get here tomorrow night and they're packed out, can't get in? Yes! If they're packed out and you can't get into winners, where do you go? Loser is right next door. Look at all those losers. <laughs> yeah, they're so available with the losers. Actually, that's actually the more local place to go. Luke Bryan will just pop in there and do shows every once in a while. Very cool club. Now, on the left, another fun bar. Look for somewhere fun to go. This one right here is called the Red Door Saloon. You can see why. Now, every songwriter, we've got skeletons in our closet, right? Helps make a good song. They have a skeleton in their basement. And if you go in there, get drunk, lay on the floor. They'll let you look through a little people. You can see that skeleton down there. Now, have you guys ever been to a bar on a Saturday night? Wayland himself climbed the ladder and pumped that. There it is about that stained glass window. It's still there. Now also look at that balcony, that covered porch. Very famous around here in the 70s and early 80s. If you came down during the week, it was very common to see Wayland up there with his best friend in the whole world, Willie Nelson. That's where they used to love to write songs, drink beer, and, and you know what Willie does. <laughs> Somebody said it's only second floor balcony, but it's very cool. Now, I'll tell you, take my cards real quick. Swami so, I mean, I told you, we, he sold out all those concerts. They're, ah, they're not naked. You are in the South. They're naked. There is a big difference.